Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Happy Wednesday, something different today, normally I'm doing a build up model, today I'm doing an unbuild model. As you can see, probably confused you there, I've got the Fan Home Night Rider release here, and by far the biggest amount of comments and emails I've received of this, including some of the adverts that you've probably seen on my channel, is am I going to be doing the Mike Lane dashboard mod? <sighs> I've bowed to public pressure, and I've now got the Mike Lane dashboard mod. So this isn't just the dashboard mod, this is also a power supply as well. So you can actually power the whole of the kit section here with a USB-C cable. Now I'm not going to use the power function of this because I've already put a third party power mod in there. And it's lucky for me that uh, the third party power supply that I put in there already has the power supply at this dashboard side that I can connect this up. So I'm going to be doing uh, this as if I've got a third party mod. Now there's three options when you install this. You can either use the USB-C power that Mike provides in this pack. You can either use batteries and there's all the leads in there so you can still use the batteries that you've got with the kit or you can, as I said, use a third party power mod. But let me show you what's in the box. This is what the box looks like and uh, I have resealed it because I had to have a look and see actually what's in here. Uh, nice dinky thing this is and in it we do have, it's very well packaged here, all the leads we're going to need which is this grey and black lead. I've also got a single black lead. This is what I'm going to be using. I won't need that grey and black lead. Uh, we've got a Y-shaped lead here. Again, I'm not going to be needing this, but uh, it depends what way you're going to be powering this up in your dashboard. Uh, all the instructions for this are online, and I have put a link in the description as well to the instructions. And then a USB-C -C cable, which is basically the power mod to power the unit. But again, I'm not going to be using this because um, I've already got a power mod in my uh, car. Now, this is where the magic happens. This is the bezel for the screens, and that's probably gonna be the first thing that we put on. And then all the magic happens, oh, let's be careful with this, in this section here, which is the new cover for the screens. Now, where you've got these sections here, we're gonna be using the uh, proper uh, parts that come with the build to fill these up. This is just gonna replace those two screens. So this is what it looks like from behind. As you can see, we've got a memory card uh, slotted just in here. There's the memory card, it's already in there, but that's pretty much ready to go. Now, just to remind you, this is the boot up sequence before I've done the mod. And now this is where the fun begins because I'm going to have to take everything that I've done in the last pack apart to get to the underside of the uh, dashboard to undo all the stuff that's already in there to install that in. Now it's best to do this in stage 44 onwards. Uh, obviously I'm way far past that so I've got a lot of work to do. And the first thing I'm going to have to do is disconnect the steering that I took so long to actually attach the uh, points together. So uh, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to get this all apart. Um, if you want to know how I'm doing that, because I am cutting this because it would take a long time, uh, then just get your magazines and work backwards, uh, pretty much like you'd take a car apart at home. And uh, let's see if we can get to the stage where I'm ready to start installing this in the dashboard. <laughs> So as you can see here, I've got a collection of stuff which I'm not going to need. I am going to need the fascias for this, but that's all of those uninstalled. It's in a bit of a mess at the moment. So now I'm actually going to install this into place. And again, all the instructions how to do that are online. I know this is upside down at the moment, but in front of these uh, where the screens used to be here, I'm actually going to be putting the bezels that come in here. So I'll get them on and show you what that looks like. They are just held in with this adhesive here. And I put this over the top. Just like that. Hopefully you can see that just there. Excellent. I then want to take out this section here from this part. So when that's out, it looks just like that. And I'm just going to put that into the cavity here. 
so that looks like that. Now holding this this way round, I've got I've already got rid of the lead from the screens that we had before, which had lights in it, which I don't need now. I've just hidden that underneath this masking tape, but I do need these LEDs here, which are connected to the yellow and black. They're going in the two holes that we've got uh, just underneath here. Let me just show you where they go. I've got one of the yellow and black leads going in this side, one going in here, and then I've got this red and black lead, which is just going into this end here. So I plug them in, and then I'm just gonna feed this into place of where it goes. Now I do have some leads to plug in here, but I'm gonna do that afterwards. What I wanna do is just mount this into position. Very aware that this is hard to show you, but I'm just putting the BP screws in there to hold this unit into place. And it's just three BP screws in there. So that unit is now in place. So I've just plugged in the black lead that comes in this pack. And this looks just like this here. And I'm gonna route that with the other leads underneath the car so it comes out the back with all these leads here. I said I already had power from the uh, mod that I put in. I'm gonna plug that into the socket just next to it. And then it's just a case of putting everything back together. This is gonna be fun. And then the final thing to do once that's done is I take out this cable here, which is the green and yellow cable. Just get that one out. And I'm gonna be replacing that with the black cable that we just plugged into the main unit. So that's just gonna go in here. Just like that. And then the cable that we took out, the green and yellow is actually gonna go into where cable H is because we don't have those lights anymore. So I'm just gonna unplug that one and then plug this into where cable H was. And there we go, that's all in. Now I do still have the firewall to put in. I'll put that in in a second, but I just wanna see how this looks. So here we go. I'm gonna press the controller here and see what happens. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, bless. And I've just zoomed up there so you can have a look at exactly what those screens do. Now, I think Mike says there's five minutes of animations on here. So uh, there's plenty of things going on. It does look a hundred million times better, I have to say. It's definitely well worth it. And I am glad I did this mod. I was a little bit scared, I have to say, about taking everything apart. Uh, it's not too bad, to be honest with you. You are left with quite a, a few uh, extra bits here that you don't need anymore that you can throw away. But uh, I'm sure you'll agree, that looks absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Let's put the car back together and then we'll give one more go of booting this up. And there you go, that's everything back together. So let's double check every single thing still works. So engine noise. Perfect. Uh, the sensor, oh, let's plug the sensor in. We didn't do that. That's here. Let's uh, get that running. As you can see, that's working fine. Perfect. We've got the... That one there. Just shut that up. Uh, we've got the music. And then obviously we've got, and I'll set another camera up so you can see this, the lights. Now when you do get this from Mike Clay, you do have different options that you can get. I did get an option that gives me a 25 watt uh, PD adapter for uh, plugging this in so I can connect this to the USB-C as well. So, uh, But check that out on Mike's site and you'll see the different options when you actually buy this. So there you go. I'm not going to lie. Before I put it in, I thought to myself, oh my God, this is going to be scary because I'm very much past stage 40 to 44. I think that's when you're supposed to be putting it in. So it did mean taking some of this part stuff apart to get that in. But you know what? I am thrilled with the results and it really wasn't as hard as I thought it was. As long as you do it methodically and you do it in an order, there's not going to be an issue at all. But uh, I am really happy with that. Now, I think I've answered the question, am I going to do Mike Lane's mod? I have done it now. If you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link to Mike Lane's website down the bottom there. Obviously, he's done loads of mods for this already, as in with the grills and you've got the um, carpets and the trunk carpets. There's loads. But uh, if you want to get your, this yourself, just check out the description down there. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.